Hi guys, here I'll be showing you how to install Taxi Backend integration to have the app running successfully. So this is the first part I would like to show how to run app in local system. So before I start I would like to show the versions to be installed in your system. So please make sure you have installed uh, these versions before starting the app. So let's begin. So I'll open up the terminal. The taxi backend is already been downloaded and I have extracted it. It's in the download folder. So let me show you the extracted one. Here it is. So I go to full app folder. So here I uh, have uh, three models of taxi backend, admin dashboard, API server and mobile app. So first I need to start API server. I'll install npm. In place of npm, you could even install yarn. So let this uh, npm install get done. So meanwhile, I'll open up another terminal and I would start Mongo server. showing some error that it's already been started background so I would kill the process of this so now I'll start Mongo server so the API server npm is done so now I'll start the API. So the API server will be started. I'll open another terminal and I'll go to admin dashboard. and install npm of this so now you can see the api server has been started and mongo server is being running
so uh, the admin dashboard npm is been installing so before starting admin dashboards i need to see the script for this i have to go to api server folder then i would run npm run script seed yes got success message so now i would uh, start admin dashboard okay and before starting admin dashboard uh, you need to uh, make some changes in uh, file so for that you need to go to source services and here api config dot js copy the ip address save it so there you have to copy the IP address in the network and paste it here then save it so now you need to start admin dashboard So it will take a bit time to start uh, admin dashboard. So now the admin dashboard got open. And here if you wish to change the credentials of this admin dashboard you can do it for that you need to go to API server folder then script over here then here in admin.js we need to make changes in user object here so uh, if you wish to change for email or password you can change over here so now uh, the admin dashboard is being done so suppose if I uh, want to start a mobile app like a driver or rider app you need to go to the folder sign So here in mobile app you will be having a driver app and rider app. So you can start whichever you want. So I will be starting a driver app now. I will install npm.
so the npm install is done so before starting the npm you need to see the script again so here it is and you need to make changes in sublime also here copy the IP address and paste it here save it okay it's done so now I would start iOS I got an error message here so for that let me clear the database of Mongo So the taxi app development got dropped here. Make sure that API server and MongoD is being running. Now see the database again. then start driver app So the driver app got launched here and even you can scan for barcode using exponent 
you have, uh, you have you need to install exponent in your mobile and you can scan the barcode so that's all uh, you can even uh, do the same thing to rider app also and uh, please make sure that the mobile network is same you are using ip address of the same in the mobile app also so that's how thank you